World War II, the most destructive war ever in human history. Featuring nuclear bombs, firebombing, kamikaze attacks, and pigeon-guided missiles. Yup, during World War II, the idea of pigeon-guided missiles was first introduced, and later the US Navy worked on it too. What happened to it? Say hello to this behaviorist. A behaviorist, in case you didn't guess, is someone who studies behavior. This behaviorist's name was B.F. Skinner, and this guy was kind of a big deal in psychology. He was a professor of psychology at Harvard for over 15 years, and he was also ranked as the most influential psychologist of the 20th century in a 2002 survey. During World War II, the missiles we know today hadn't quite been developed yet by the US. At this point, the closest thing to those was the Nazi-made V-1 rocket. But other than that, a missile was pretty much a glider with a bomb in it back then. The problem was that these missiles didn't have any precision. B.F. Skinner attempted to remedy this. How? By having pigeons as pilots. Inside the nose of these missiles, there would be anywhere from one to three pigeons sitting in front of a screen, and in that screen was the target. The pigeon would peck on the target, and every time it did, the pigeon would get a seed. Every time it pecked on the target, the missile would adjust its course to aim at the target if it moved. When the missile hit the target, the bomb in the missile would explode, and unfortunately the pigeon would also go kablooey along with it. Skinner, the behaviorist, received $25,000 from the National Defense Research Committee, even though that they said that the idea was impractical. Skinner said that he got the pigeons to peck at the target, but said, quote, Our problem was no one would take us seriously. The project was cancelled on October 8, 1944, with the military giving the reasoning, Further prosecution of this project would seriously delay others which, in the mind of the division, have more immediate promise of combat application. In 1948, the Navy had the same idea of using pigeons as part of Project Orcon, short for Organic Control, but in 1953, it was cancelled because missile guidance systems were improved. The pigeons never got their chance to act as kamikaze pilots. So, that's the story of the pigeon-guided missile. If you liked the video, then be sure to subscribe and like. If you didn't like the video, well then press the dislike button twice, and then for good measure press the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching Explained. New videos, every other Friday.